Hi, I'm Glenn Ferguson of Bahamas Bridal and Wedding Planners, where we help brides and grooms plan their dream wedding. Today I'm going to share with you another bridal tip on the seven most common wedding mistakes brides make. So if you want to have the perfect wedding day, then you want to avoid making these mistakes. The first mistake that brides make is forgetting the final dress fitting. One of the biggest mistakes brides can make is forgetting to arrange their final fitting, leading to a panic attack on the morning of the wedding when they finally realize that the dress simply does not fit. Then have to resort to safety pins and secure a sagging buster or feeling sore from a wedding dress that is just simply too tight. So don't let this happen to you. And you can avoid this by simply making sure you remember to do your final dress fitting. On your wedding day, you want to feel as though you can wear your wedding dress forever. The second mistake you want to avoid is not booking a makeup or hair trial. Imagine turning around to face the mirror once your hairdresser or makeup artist has done their magic, only to suddenly feel sick and faint. What have they done? That's why it's imperative to book yourself in for a makeup or hair trial prior to your big day, unless you totally trust the professional, or if you're keeping your hair and beauty simplistic, which is hard to get wrong. So you don't want to be feeling self-conscious on your wedding day as it will distract you from more important things and will eventually leave you despising your wedding photographs later on. So be sure and book your makeup and hair trial. Don't see it as a waste of time. It is your insurance to having a gorgeous day and pictures you will cherish for a lifetime. Mistake number three is forgetting to pay the vendors. With so much going on before the wedding day itself, it can be all too easy to let things slip your mind. But forgetting to pay the final installment on your florist or catering service could be disastrous. While your vendor should always send reminders for the final payment, if you're a stressed bride or groom, then these polite prompts will most likely go unnoticed. So be sure that all of your vendors are paid because the reality of being a stranded bride or having hungry guests can be disastrous. The third mistake you want to avoid is enjoying yourself too much. Enjoying yourself just a little too much the night before your wedding by having one drink too many or getting a little too merry at the reception is a common mistake made by brides. Don't forget that your wedding day is likely to be the most captured day of your life. And with your guests all having cameras ready to snap you at every moment, the embarrassment will never leave you after looking through drunken photographs or listening to the stories of guests. So don't ruin the most important day of your life by having a hangover from your wedding eve party. An early and sober night is the best way to guarantee a memorable wedding day. Mistake number four, not giving your DJ a playlist. This may not seem like an important consideration given all that you have to do. But the one thing you don't want to do is let your DJ or wedding musician loose on the music for your reception, as this could be the biggest wedding mistake you make. You want to control the atmosphere at your reception, and the best way to do this is by giving your DJ a playlist of the music you would like at your wedding. Be clear with your wedding entertainer and make a list of no play songs. Remember, it is your guest's first opportunity to experience you as a host, and you want to make a great first impression. Another mistake you want to avoid making is not sampling the food. When selecting your wedding reception venue or caterer, the most important thing is to try the food before you commit to handing over a deposit. Hungry wedding guests being presented with a cold plate of undercooked food is not the recipe for a happy wedding reception. Also, want to consider your guest's special needs. It will not be courteous not to have any vegetarian options for your meat-avoiding guests or for the meal to be evidently frozen and heated up in a microwave. Remember, you are the host, so everything that happens on your wedding day is a reflection of your taste. So be sure that your wedding meal is as lavish as you envisioned it. And finally, if you have questions about planning your wedding, you can email them to Glenn at BahamasBridalWeddingPlanner.com And be sure to subscribe to get more videos just like this one, answering your wedding planning questions. And for immediate help, feel free to call me at 327-2453.